Hello everybody and welcome to Ship Analysis. In this series of videos I'll be taking you through everything you need to know about the new purchasable ships in Space Engineers. All ships are vanilla and can be found in trading stations in the game. These stations will only appear if you have the economy option enabled in your world. If you're feeling generous, please like and subscribe, and as always, enjoy. Today we're taking a look at the B-60 Bulk Freighter. Found for about 90 million, it's currently one of the largest ships on sale. However, since it uses hydrogen and atmospheric engines, it's over four times cheaper than the Red Cruiser. That ship uses iron propulsion exclusively, making it very pricey. It's also a very good looking ship, along with its many features and solid platform it provides for modifications. The in-game description is as follows. The B-60 Freighter is a versatile, long-range interplanetary cargo ship, equipped with a jump drive and three large cargo containers, port and starboard docking connectors, comfortable crew quarters, a rear landing deck with a connector to dock and transport small ships, and a low centred bridge for easy planetary flight and navigation. The B-60 Freighter shares the B designation with the B-980 Hauler. This along with their similar design language and colour scheme implies that they are both produced by the same shipyard. In my B-980 Hauler video I theorised that the 980 and the 60 model numbers relate to different variations of the ship types. As you can see the B-60 has a beautiful design. With great armour accents and visible components it really does look the part. For easier landings, the bridge is positioned on the ventral side, giving the B-60 a very unique look. For power generation, the B-60 has two small reactors, protected under the communications array. For power storage, the B-60 has ten batteries, located inside a room aboard the ship. Two hydrogen tanks are located on the ventral side. The oxygen tank is also here, just covered up by some armour. No refineries of any kind can be found on board in its stock configuration. However, there is a full-sized assembler and a medical room. For carrying cargo, the B-60 is equipped with two small and three large cargo containers, which are exposed on the dorsal side. A landing pad is located at the stern of the ship, very useful for transporting cargo modules or storing small ships. A jump drive is located beneath the landing pad and can be accessed from the battery room. Orientation is controlled by four gyroscopes exposed on the port and starboard sides. The B60 comes with a hybrid of hydrogen and atmospheric thrust. Four large atmospheric thrusters provide lift in atmosphere and a large forward hydrogen thruster gives the B60 good acceleration. Being such a large ship, the B-60 has three main entrances. One is located at the stern of the ship, from the landing pad you can enter straight into the power room. The other two entrances are located on the port and starboard sides. Both doors lead into the same airlock room. In this rather large airlock, you have access to the medical room, airlock control panel and a programmable block. Going down the stairs and through the door towards the bow will lead you into the bridge. In here you will find two seats, the gravity generator and the flight seat. In particular I like the high ceiling on the bridge. It gives it a very open feel and helps the freighter look. Going back to the airlock and entering through the yellow door towards the stern will lead you into a corridor. Coming up the stairs puts you in front of two doors on the port and starboard side. These are two identical rooms designed as living quarters for the crew. A set of basic living necessities and a skylight window make them very nice additions to the ship. Continuing down the corridor will put you in the battery room, where you have access to six of the ten batteries, the jump drive and the stern airlock. The B-60 is 67.5 metres long, 
42.5 meters wide and 25 meters tall. The maximum mass I recommend for each body in the star system is as follows. Earth, 3,800 tons. Moon, 1,800 tons. Mars, 2,800 tons. Europa, 7,800 tons. Alien planet, 3,700 tons. And Titan, 9,800 tons. Given by its systems, name and appearance, the B-60 is a medium-sized, high-capacity cargo freighter, specialising in sustaining crew for long periods of time, hauling heavy cargo. Its ability to land on anybody in the system, coupled with its jump drive, make it an excellent ship for travel and transport too, and since it's so large, modifications are easy to carry out. Combat should be completely avoided. Many critical components are exposed, and the ship is a large target for big missiles or railguns. For defence, I recommend hiring an escort, or carrying a strike fighter craft. A good example of modification is Sethiel's B-60 Exodus. He upgraded the entire interior space, and added extra landing pads. To top it all off, he recolored the ship to a very good looking, black and silver colour scheme. This superbly demonstrates how easy it is to make the B-60 suit your preferences. Overall, the B-60 bulk freighter is cheap for its size, offers an impressive upgrade platform and has all the necessities of an interplanetary freighter. If that sounds like something you're interested in, pick it up and let me know how it went. If you enjoyed this episode of Ship Analysis, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps inspire me to make more. Comment which ship or rover you'd like to see next down below, and I'll pick the one with the most votes to do next. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care, everybody.